Good day class, it's me, Ma'am Perlise Paunil, your TLE teacher. How are you today? I hope that all of you are doing great. Welcome again to the another lesson in Cookery 10. As we are now on to the another week, we will be discussing the second module for week 2, which is the Learning Outcome 2, Prepare and Cook Egg Dishes. And for this week 2 objectives, you are expected to identify the market forms of eggs and explain the uses of eggs in culinary. Before that, I want you to answer your pretest. Please refer to page 1 of your module. Read each question carefully. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Refrain from looking at your lessons and avoid erasures. Ready? Time starts now! Alright, so after assessing yourself, let us first have a short recap about our previous lesson, which is about the egg. Please refer to page 2 of your module. For the direction, try to complete the crossword puzzle. Use the description below as your guide. I will give you 5 minutes to answer your modules. Refrain from looking at your lesson and avoid erasures. Ready? Time starts now! I guess you are now ready with our new lesson for today. Eggs are produced commercially in farms with a few hundred laying chickens or large laying complexes with thousands of layers. An egg is indeed a convenient food for any meal in and out of the house. Filipinos usually eat eggs during breakfast as their source of energy throughout the day. Whether it be in the morning or in the evening, egg has been one of the staple food for all the types of households. Before you begin cooking eggs, there is some general information you should know. Awareness of the market forms of eggs, uses of eggs, sizes of eggs, and egg grades can mean the difference between mere tasty dishes and meals of the unmatched delicacy. Egg is available in many forms at the market. Below is a list of the market forms of egg. 1. Fresh egg 2. Frozen or pasteurized 3. Pasteurized, dry or powdered First market forms of egg is the fresh egg. It can be purchased in dozen or 12 pieces or tray for 30 pieces. The next market forms of eggs is frozen, which is done with the help of pasteurization method. Pasteurization method is a process of partial sterilization, especially one involving heat treatment or irrigation, thus making the product safe for consumption and improving its keeping quality. Eggs that had, be, that had been pasteurized in order to reduce the risk of foodborne illness in dishes that are not cooked or only lightly cooked. Frozen pasteurized, they come in the form of whole eggs with extra yolks and whites. The United States 
Department of Agriculture says he should not intentionally freeze eggs. According to the USDA, shell eggs should not be frozen. If an egg accidentally freezes and the shell cracks during freezing, discard the egg. Keep any uncracked eggs frozen until needed. Then, tow in the refrigerator. If you intend to use your once frozen eggs, make sure to follow the following advice. Clean, defrost, or thaw, then cook. The last market forms of egg is pasteurized dry powder. With dried egg product, you get all the benefits of a fresh egg without worrying that the egg will go bad. Dried egg product acts like real egg because of it is real egg. It's simply dehydrated. Dried egg products are non-perishable and if they are made and stored correctly, they can last for a long time. Dried eggs are seldom used. Their whites are used for preparing marang. Dried eggs are used primarily as ingredient in in food industry. They are not commonly sold directly to consumers. Due to such versatility, the egg is considered a primary ingredient in culinary professions. Here's the examples of the uses of eggs in cooking. Food color, leavening agent, coating agent, emulsifier, biting agent, and thickener. The first uses of eggs in cooking is the food color. The orange pigment of the egg or the egg yolk adds another to color to food. These products in which eggs are used contribute to its flavor and color. Examples are the cakes and custards. The next uses of eggs in cooking is leavening agent. What is leavening agent? It is a substance causing expansion of dough and batter by the release of gases within such mixtures producing baked products with absorbent structure. Foam is created when the egg white is beaten. The foam is a made of bubbles surrounded by a thin elastic film of egg whites. When the foam is incorporated into a mixture, it provides leavening for such a products. Examples of this are omelettes, soffles, sponge cakes, and meringue. Number 3 Uses of Eggs in Cooking Coating Agent since the egg white and yolk are thicker than water and the other liquids, egg helps flour, seasonings, or breadcrumbs stick to the food. The egg and the egg butter help to give a coat to the food items and prevent them from disintegrating and give them a protective coating. Many of the food items such as fish fillet, fried chicken, are dipped into the batter before crumbing and then fried. An egg butter provides a binder for adding cooking. The next uses of eggs in cooking is emulsifier. The word emulsify is to disperse emulsion. An emulsion is a mixture of two or more liquids that are normally immiscible or unmixable or unblendable, owing to a liquid-liquid phase separation. The egg yolk helps form a stable product by not allowing the water and oil to separate. Best example is salad dressings, specifically the mayonnaise. Number 5. Uses of Eggs in Cooking Binding agent. 
the egg proteins coagulate. Coagulation is the state of changing liquid or fluid to a solid or semi-solid state. Addition of eggs to minced meat and mashed vegetables, egg helps to bind the mixture. As the heat coagulates, the proteins are bound into a cohesive mass. This enables the food to stick together and not fall apart. Examples are meatloaf, okoy, hamburger patties, etc. Number 6. Uses of eggs in cooking A thickener A thickening agent or thickener is a substance which can increase the viscosity of a liquid without substantially changing its other properties. Edible thickeners are commonly used to thicken sauces, soups, and pudding without altering their taste. As egg protein starts to denature, they form a gel which thickens the food. Example of this that functions a thickening agent are the custards and soups. The thickening effect is due to the coagulation of the proteins during heating. Not all eggs are created equal. When a recipe calls for eggs, it is important to consider their size and weight of the eggs to achieve the best results. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, there are six different weight class for shell eggs. They are peewee, small, medium, large, extra large, and jumbo. Peewee eggs are eggs that is greater than 35 grams comes from chicken or young chickens who lay eggs infrequently and are not readily available in most grocery stores. Small eggs greater than 43 grams also called as pullet eggs. These come from young hens. Much like peewee eggs, they are not readily available in most grocery stores. Medium eggs greater than 50 grams are the smallest sizes of eggs you can expect to find at the grocery store. Large egg, greater than 57 grams. These are the most common eggs and the eggs that most recipe calls for, even when they don't specify size. Large eggs are always a safe bet. Extra large eggs, greater than 64 grams, slightly bigger than the large eggs. Extra large eggs may be called for explicitly in some recipes. And the last one is the jumbo eggs. This is greater than 75 grams. They can be more than 20% larger than typical large eggs. They are rare but not as rare as a PB and small eggs. Okay, so let us proceed to the egg grades. What is egg grades? Egg grade is the process of sorting eggs into one or three classifications. Grade A, Grade B, and Grade C. Those classifications are determined by measuring both the exterior and the interior quality of the egg at the time of packaging. From there, the eggs are sorted by weight and packaged accordingly. The most common packaging is a, dos is a dozen eggs per carton. Egg grading is important. Food manufacturers, retailers, and shoppers helps to consistently enforce these standards for the health and safety of millions of people. I guess you are now ready for our activity today. Answer activities 1 to 3.1. On pages 3 to 4, refer to your module. Avoid erasures. Good luck! Alright, so let us remember. Market forms of eggs 
are fresh, frozen, and dried. Uses of eggs are being used in different ways. It depends on the way how it is combined with the other food. Egg grades. Egg quality has two general components to general. Shell quality, exterior quality, and interior egg quality. Interior egg quality has direct bearing on the functional properties of the eggs, while shell quality has direct influence on the microbiological quality. Alright, again, what are the market forms and the uses of eggs? Great! Good job, students! Okay, so let us check your understanding. Identify the uses of eggs in the following dish. Write the answer on the space provided on your modules. Refer to the page 4. Avoid erasures. Good luck! Now, let us answer your post test. Read each question carefully. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Refer to your module on page 5. Avoid erasures. Good luck! Let us see how far you have learned from this module. To show your understanding, I want you to answer the following questions. For your essays, please refer to the rubric on your module as your guide. Refer to page 5. Avoid erasures. Good luck! Thank you so much again for viewing today's video presentation on Cookery Module 2, Week 2. Hope that this presentation helps you a lot. Keep safe and God bless everyone. Goodbye!